Good morning, welcome to day four. How are you all feeling? I am absolutely loving seeing your pictures. You're all working extremely hard. I'm oh so proud of each and every one of you. You're really pushing yourselves, which is amazing. This is what this challenge is all about, being accountable and pushing yourselves a little bit more each day. Okay, so day four, we're gonna go in with the, the same three movements because it's the consistency and the growth on each movement that's gonna make your butt firmer and your core stronger. Okay, so you know the three moves, just your standard squat. I hope you're all finding these super easy now and you're finding that you can push yourself a bit more. So whatever you did yesterday, push yourself a little bit more today, do an extra five, 10, if you can, okay? So just your normal standard squat. Remember to push up through your heels, okay? It's really important that when you push up through your heels and you clench your bottom when you get to the top. So you push and clench. A lot of you are using weights, which is amazing, which is gonna give you that extra, extra strength, that even firmer booty, which is amazing. So your standard squat, do as many or as you can, but make sure it's more than yesterday. Then your sumo squat, so your wide squat, same again, pushing through the heels and really clench when you get to that top, okay? Now I know a lot of, some of you are not doing um, jumping squats and that's fine. So you know, you can literally do your squat, step in, squat, step in. But if you can do the jumps, then you're squatting down, jump up. This really gets your heart going as well. So not only are you firming your legs and your bottom, gets your heart rate going as well. Okay, so the next ones we're gonna do today, the additional ones, for those of you that are a little bit more advanced, <laughs> excuse me, we're going on the floor and we're going to put this leg under here on an angle. The bottom leg that's on the floor is on an angle. You're gonna come down you can support yourself here with your hand. Let me move back so you can see me a bit more. Uh, and this, this leg on top is going to come up and across, okay? Keep your toe pointed down, right? So make sure your, your, your torso is in, is in a line so it's straight, okay? So you don't want to be doing this. You want to keep it nice and straight, keep your torso in a line. But this leg is coming over and across with your toe pointed down. You can support yourself with this hand in front of you and you're just going to go up and down. And what this is going to work, it's really going to work those, that, those glutes and that bottom area on the outer of your bottom. Okay, up and down. And see how many you can do. Try and do at least 10. Try push for 20 on each side. Okay, so toe pointed down. If you find it easier, you can go further down on your arm to support yourself, but make sure this leg is out in front because you'll really feel it here. I want to know how much you felt that burn here. You'll really feel it, okay? Up and down, toe pointed down, as many as you can. Let me know how you find that one. You're going to do the same on that side. Switching it round, okay? Support yourself, make sure your torso is in line, this, this toe is forward, up and down, like this, okay? Just check your alignment as well. But this leg is coming over and forward and up and down. And you can't see that properly in the video, but it's the same on both sides. Okay, that's number one. The next one is knees bent. Can you see me? Let me just bring that down a minute. Knees bent, again support yourself, you're going to bring it, it's like a frog, so feet together, knees bent and you're just going to go up and down, support yourself with your hand, you are again, your work, this is going to work the outer thigh, so knee, feet together, keep the movement steady and controlled, you're bringing it out, okay? So imagine you're bringing your leg all the way out and get as straight as you can and do as many as you can and really kind of work through the movement. So when you get to the top, you're going to clench that bottom, clench your bottom because that's really going to work that muscle. Okay. Now, if you're feeling more advanced, you can lift your bottom knee up. 
Okay, lift the bottom knee up off the floor. You really feel it all the more there. But if you find that difficult, keep the knee on the floor and just work the top leg. Okay, same on the other side. Coming down. Knees bent. And you're going to work that outer thigh. If you're more advanced, bring that knee up. But working that outer thigh. Okay? And do as many or as little as you can. You're really working that outer glue. Okay? Do as many as you can. Just check your alignment is down and straight as well. Okay? And that's your exercises for today. Hope you enjoy them. And I will see you tomorrow for day five. You're doing so well, guys. Keep at this. I am absolutely loving your pictures. Bye.